Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on the market, the Bulls still got it. And this morning it was XLF coming to the defense yet again. We saw QQQ break its low of Friday. We saw SPY heading down to hourly support. Su support on the hourly for SPY was at 311.08. And XLF tested the low of Friday and held it time and time and time and time and time again this morning. And we'll look at that on the five minute time frame in just a minute. As soon as the bulls held that level and then saw follow through, we knew not today bears, we're not consolidating until that level breaks on XLF and it never broke today. So the bulls stayed strong. We did get a little bit of a sell off from the gap up open that was setting up, which is giving us an hourly equilibrium. So the high of pre-market, the low of the day, which is a double bottom of hourly consolidation with the low of Friday, lower high at the high of the day, and if we break 311 tomorrow, daily consolidation is underway. If 311 holds, the bulls keep complete control. And on the daily time frame, we can see that if 311 breaks, anything above 307.66 is just a higher low. So the bulls have 1% of space to work with after support breaks to still maintain the daily uptrend. So they're fairly comfortable. Little bit of weakness this morning, but until we see QQQ and XLF both going down at the same time, we know that the bears are not serious. IWM, still very healthy contained consolidation. Question is gonna be, can the bulls change the daily trend? So you got little lower highs and lower lows. Another lower high is now set at 159.29. The bulls must hold 157.19 and break 159.29 to change the daily trend. If the S&P 500 bulls are going to keep this move going, the strength will likely have to result from IWM and XLF breaking their healthy consolidation pattern to try and see continuation back to their recent highs. So IWM is on watch for that reason. QQQ new all time high. So there's that bear break. We broke the low of yesterday. Not much follow through low of Friday. There's a gap at 201.56, but the bulls saw a very strong recovery and 203.38, the high of pre-market, double top at the high of the day, consolidation into the close and the bulls are going to have to break that little double top to look for follow through tomorrow. So XLF, here's that healthy contained consolidation. There's no red flags there, but bulls have to break 29.89 and 30.03 to see another leg up and try and get follow through. Look at the five minute time frame this morning. And I was just staring at this. And it was just bounce, hold, solid bounce, back down, one, two, three, four candles in a row, another two candles, and then there's the bulls winning. So that was the level that was the line in the sand and bulls won. End of the day strength for XLF. We'll see if that carries over into tomorrow after this very healthy daily consolidation. XLV consolidation. So we started the morning strong, but topped out very quickly and trying to form an hourly higher low. I would consider anything above 96.52 as an hourly higher low. So no red flags in this consolidation at this point. And even if we break the low of today, we will just be looking for a daily higher low compared to 94.85. Bulls have about two and a half percent to work with before we get to that daily higher low. XBI, biotech bulls saw some continuation. Nothing very strong, but slow and steady. Anything above 83.02 is a daily higher low. VIX certainly has our attention. We're not seeing any kind of strength in the VIX because we have no weakness in the markets but we will be looking to gold, bull miners, and the volatility index when we see weakness in the S&P 500 that has some kind of follow through. And again, I said this in a recent video, unless I see QQQ and XLF both at the low of the day breaking supports, I have no interest in the volatility sector. So gold today formed a daily higher low. And if you're watching gold in the miners, you can see that they are just itching to go. And any kind of negative headline that we get with regards to China and the US and the trade deal, they seem poised to just be ready to see a very solid move. So if we see any negative headlines that have impact on the market, 
gold and bull miners are going to be where I'm looking first. So we have our low of the day, or I should say the low of the pullback, high of the bounce, higher low is now at 1456 and a little bit of a double top. I almost swung, I wanted to swing bull miners today into the close due to this hourly bull flag, due to the clear 1475 resistance, but then I snapped out of it and said, why would I swing when we are under resistance? It has not broken yet. It's just an unnecessary risk. And I'll wait till tomorrow to see if we see any weakness in the overall market. So an hourly bull flag currently forming on gold and looking up at that double top, which would change the daily trend and would further see the narrative of the monthly healthy consolidation, the weekly lower highs and lower lows with no bear follow through. It would continue to follow through if we can change this daily trend. Silver, very similar. Bulls have to break 1709 for the clear bull break of the higher low and higher high. And if we can't, then it's not much of a bounce. Could these be weekly bear flags? Absolutely. If these bounces don't get any follow through in these precious metals, weekly bear flags are possible. But in my opinion, that would have to continue seeing the S&P 500 march through all time highs, which is possible as well. Have to prepare for all scenarios. Bull miners, low of Friday held by four pennies. Bull break over resistance of 2783. So bulls keeping their strength. Anything on the daily under 2902 is just a lower high. And again, weekly time frame, little stair step down, but every time we get a bear break, it leads into at least a short term week or two bounce. And a nice strong close for those miners today, which just had a slow and steady march up, healthy consolidation all afternoon. And then there's that bull volume with that strong close into the end of the day. Oil is close to a bear break. If oil breaks 56.41, we will lose these daily little higher lows. And from there, the weekly lower high will be set. High, low, lower high. And we would then be scouting a higher low in the low $50 range. But only if we lose a daily uptrend, which is still intact. We just came fairly close to it. Look at us grind up this daily exponential support. Losing the daily higher low and losing that support level would be notable. Natural gas, we were looking for a daily lower high due to the size of the pullback. We were looking at the 12 hour head and shoulders potential, and it's looking like those are following through. We did get a bear break, not a ton of follow through at this point, but this is the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder, and now dropping down to the lower low, which means zoom out for weekly consolidation. The bulls now need a weekly higher low compared to 2178. And we were expecting this daily lower high, again, due to the size of the pullback. We were either going to see bulls with a huge recovery of 11 plus percent to go straight to a higher high or a daily lower high set on that bounce. That's why it's the most likely scenario because of the size of the pullback. So anything on the daily chart now under 266 will keep the bears in this little downtrend control. And that's where we stand. So bulls still have it. Have to see weakness in tech and the financial sector. If we do, we're watching gold, metals, miners, volatility index, taking one day at a time, watching those headlines, but knowing that we have to see the price action, follow the headlines. I appreciate you watching. Have a good rest of your day.